Singapore is seeing a groundswell of support for same-sex rights. On the island state, sex between men carries a maximum penalty of two years jail. The law is seldom enforced, but rights activists want it repealed. As Sashis Cheney reports, a record 21,000 people attended a recent event to support same-sex rights. The majority of the crowd came dressed to form a sea of pink, but some decided to show a bit more creativity. And there was certainly no shortage of cute pets lending their support to the cause as well. This is the fifth annual Pink Dot event held in Singapore. Uh, well, my friend is uh, gay, so I'm here to just you know spend time with him and chill out. This is my second time here, and 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 um, I can see that people are actually growing out and coming up to the society but um, there are still some people trying not to accept it. The more we do this, the more people see that there shouldn't be a stigma, there shouldn't be a fear. And the record turnout of 21,000 people at this year's event has much symbolic meaning for the organisers. Five years ago we had uh, 2,500 people show up and last year we had 15,000. So that growth uh, uh, is pretty phenomenal. And I think when we started out doing Pink Dot, uh, we always thought that the size of the dot growing every year would actually symbolize society's acceptance of the LGBT community. And so we, exp we were hoping, uh, we had a sort of 10 year plan to fill the park in 10 years. And we are really, you know, incredibly gratified that we actually achieved that in four years. Five years ago, people were a bit afraid to, to come. And uh, right now, uh, people are not afraid to come anymore. Uh, and they, are, they happily come, they happily dress in pink, they call their friends, they call their parents. So, uh, so we, we see a bit of a change in terms of mindset, the attitude of, uh, of straight allies, of even the LGBT people itself in Singapore. So, um, so that is, uh, and I think it really is because it's not so taboo anymore. While homosexuality might not be so taboo in society these days, Section 377A of the Penal Code criminalizes sexual relations between men. The law is not enforced proactively, but many supporters of gay rights want the government to repeal the law. Earlier this year, two men went to the High Court to get the law repealed, but their efforts were rejected. Religious leaders have asked the government not to repeal the legislation. And some LGBT supporters say the media portrays members of their community in a negative way. So what actually happens is that um, LGBT individuals uh, have a very skewed uh, depiction on the media. So people who are not uh, exposed, let's say on, on social media, this is the impression that they get. So, um, so characters that are, are happy, uh, lead normal life, that are useful in society are not allowed on mainstream media. Uh, character, uh, gay characters who are suicidal, psychotic, murderous uh, and depressed and uh, are all allowed. So that's the kind of skewed uh, image that LGBT people have in mainstream media. While quite a few celebrities showed up to lend their support for the cause, this man has gone the extra mile. He is Singapore's first openly gay politician who's part of the opposition Singapore Democratic Party. He wrote on his Facebook that he's gay a day before the Pink Dot event. Whether it affects my political career, I'm sure there will be some detractors. But that is the strength of a polity. When you're able to uh, express different views, and as I said, for the, the, the discourse to gradually widen, the contest of ideas becomes healthier, and that means that uh, a, a wider range of opinions become heard in the public space. It can only be good in the long run. Dr. Vijay Singha says there's still a long way to go, but that change is possible. What is loosening up is the community itself. Like this, it's a citizen initiative. People are taking it into their own hands to change society for the better. And the government cannot fail to have to catch up with the people if they are going to entertain any hope of remaining relevant in the long term. Organisers and LGBT supporters are hoping for another record-breaking turnout next year and no doubt a stronger push for legal reforms. For Asia Calling TV, this is Satish Cheney from Singapore.